Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to review the Starbucks creamers with just a regular coffee maker. These are the creamers I just bought. You can get them at Walmart and Target and the coffee mate's what I normally use. So these are about five, they're like four dollars and fifty cents so with tax they're about five bucks. But this is a dairy product and this one is a, no, a non-dairy. So the first one here, this is the white chocolate mocha. Again, you got to unscrew the top. There's going to be a foil. It was really hard to get that foil off. It's got kind of a snap lid. I don't necessarily like it because when you close it, it kind of splashes all over. And you do got to keep shaking these. So the, let me start off by saying this creamer is really, really rich. Um, it's probably one of the richest creamers I've, I've tasted. Next, let's go to the non-dairy. I think it's non-dairy because it's got almond milk and, and oat milk. And this is the caramel macchiato. Again, you got to unscrew the top. There's going to be a foil that you got to get off. It's really hard to get that foil off. I like this top a little better. It's a snap top. Of course, it's splattered all over too. <laughs> but it pours a little better. Again, you got to shake these up. This one definitely has kind of a non-dairy taste. It, it tastes decent. Um, I do like the caramel taste. I definitely, so I'm a big white chocolate mocha fan from Starbucks, but just not a big fan of this. This is, then I've got the Coffee Mate. This is their liquid. Again, all three of these, you got to keep refrigerated. These are in the refrigerated section. They can be hard to find sometimes. And I went to a couple Walmarts, they were out. So I think these are kind of big sellers, or maybe they're just having a hard time stocking them. Now, this is the one I use every day. Um, this is the powder. I don't know why I like the powder better, but I, it, to me, I get a, a little better taste from it. So that makes no sense. These are both French vanilla. Um, this one just seemed to upset my stomach just a little bit. Not, nothing bad, nothing. But this one, um, it just, I don't know. It was just a little bit better. Um, so today I just brewed a, this is my go-to, I, I brew a cup of Folgers coffee. I'm going to pour some in each glass. Okay, so I've got my coffee poured. That's just standard black coffee. Now again, here's the, Starbu here's the Starbucks white chocolate mocha. Again, my opinion, you don't need very much. This is super, super rich. Definitely want to stir these in. So I had I had really high hopes for this. I, I thought this was going to be so good. I actually don't like the taste of it. Um, it's so what happens is is so you put a little bit in there, and then you can still taste kind of the bitter coffeeness taste. To me, I've got to get rid of that kind of bitter coffee taste for me to drink coffee. And um, so the more I keep adding, then the what happens eventually is the, the white chocolate mocha kind of overpowers the coffee. And you're, you don't end up tasting the coffee. So I just don't like this one. Next, we'll add the, the non-dairy. So before I did this video, I did a bunch of taste tests. And I, that's what I was telling you is I found that so when you don't add very much, you really can't taste it. The coffee taste is still there, so you got to kind of add. And I, I tend to add more creamer than I probably should anyway. Um, I haven't been drinking coffee that long, about three years. I just haven't acquired that that black, bitter coffee taste that, that most people have. Most people, like my dad, my sister, they can just grab a, a cup of black coffee and drink it. And I just, I'm not to that point yet. To me, it's very, very bitter. So again, this one, it's got a different, you can kind of taste that non-dairy um, taste to it. This one did taste better than the white chocolate mocha. And that might have been just because the caramel, caramel tasted, this is a caramel macchiato and this tasted really good in it. But again, I, I honestly can't say I like it. Um, it. It's got kind of a good taste. I just don't like, uh, I guess I just don't like it. Next, let's do the uh, Coffee Mate French Vanilla. Again, I, I probably use way more creamer than I should. 
And what happens is, so I get I get used to my coffee with this creamer. And you go out to eat at a restaurant, and the last restaurant we went to only had half and half. And half and half does not taste anything like a French vanilla creamer. So again, this this is this used to be my go-to. Um, if you're starting out drinking coffee, um, this is probably a good choice. It kind of gets rid of the bitter taste, but you don't have to use a ton of it. Yeah. Yeah, that tastes really good. But with it being a liquid, it seems like I can taste I can taste a little bit more of the creamer than I should. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense at all or not. Now let's go to the powder. Again, I use probably way too much more than I should. Now there's my go-to coffee every day. This is what I drink every day. Um, to me, this coffee mate powder, um, I can taste the French vanilla. I definitely taste it a lot more with the liquid, but with this, it gets rid of the bitterness. I can still taste the coffee. I, I do like the taste of coffee. I don't want to get, you know, you can put so much sugar and creamer in these things that they don't taste anything like coffee. But I, I'm starting to like more and more the taste of the coffee. I just have to get rid of that kind of that bitterness. And this coffee mate um, powder seems to do, to do the trick. And the nice thing about this is so coffee mate, you can find this at gas stations. It's normally in the liquid form. I wish they had it more in the powder form at, at gas stations and hotels, but at least you can find the coffee mate. So this was out of Folgers. I've been, I drink, I've been drinking Folgers for about three years. I really like it. If you're new to coffee, it seems to be Kind of a basic coffee there's not a ton of flavor like a you can get all kinds of different flavored coffees but this one just seems it's number america's number one best selling or number one packaged ground coffee so this is a great coffee when you're starting out but i've got a new favorite so my new favorite is this great value donut shop now i started out i'd buy these k-cups and i was buying the k-cups just because they were cheap and because I do a lot of reviews and I was checking out Keurig machines and what I found is is I started like really liking the taste of it um, and they sell it in a ground coffee and this is what I've been using every day for my um, for my coffee it's kind of a lighter color than this but they both say they're a medium roast this is a bright and balanced but anyway they only sell this at Walmart um, again I don't know much about coffee but I know that this, I've just really started liking the taste of this. And I really like the K-Cup. And it does a great espresso shot when you use it. So, sorry about that. I got a little off base there. But, um, again, I had high hopes for these. Um, I actually think I saw some reviews online that was talking about how good they were. I just don't like the taste of them. Now, that's not to say you won't like the taste of them. Um, to me, the it was just pretty powerful. And it's really, really rich. I did another video where I show you, you can use these creamers in a uh, Keurig K-Cafe if you want to uh, froth them. And they froth okay, but I also drink just standard coffee. I do my I do some drinks, some lattes and cappuccinos, but then I'm, I'm also doing uh, just normal coffee in the morning. And um, so I wanted to go over kind of the creamers. And again, I, I thought these were just going to be really, really good. And I actually don't like to taste them at all. So sorry about that. I know there's going to be people out there that love these. And again, sometimes with coffee, maybe it's just kind of what you're getting used to. It's kind of what you've been drinking. But in my opinion, this coffee made here, now there's a label on there that says gluten-free. This doesn't say gluten-free. So maybe it has something to do with the gluten in it or something. But just really, really like the taste of the uh, French vanilla coffee mate in the powder form. If you got any questions down below, please leave them in the comments. I check my comments on a daily basis. I hope this video helped. That's the intention of my videos. Um, I don't get advertisement or anything. Um, I buy this with my own money. I just wanted to kind of show people that are new to coffee. I was new to coffee three years ago. There's just not a lot out there. And I, I've kind of found that I'm just trying to help people with coffee. Thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.